Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler along with my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Mother Nature has served up perfect weather for today's game between the South Carolina Gamecocks and the Clemson Tigers. Clemson is anchored up front by an outstanding defensive tackle. And what should be a close game, I have to go with the better defense, guys. And I think the big man is going to make some plays that will make the difference. Oh, Kirk. There's a chance I might even agree with you on this one. Clemson will be tough in this one. If you like passing yards, then you're in for a treat. Today we get to see a very skilled quarterback dissect a defense that's pretty weak at cornerback. Oh, he could be in for a field day. He's not going to face two starting corners much weaker than this. I expect this young man to have a big day moving the offense. Kirk, you're absolutely right. He's a special player. I think we're going to see him complete a lot of passes with ease today. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. They'll throw on first down. He's going right. Incomplete pass. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 42. Three wide outs here. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. Seven yards there. Seven yard gain on the play. We've got third and three here. Ball right around midfield. On the gun. Chipwright gets another carry. He jukes it. He's into the open field. And they make the stop. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Let me tell you something. The biggest compliment you can give a coach is that his team is playing hard. And you're right. These guys are playing real hard right now. Number five with three wide receivers. Hut, hut. And the snap goes to the back. Big opening. He spins around. The 10, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. Great looking play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. It can't get much better than that. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Brown fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out out of the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. Number seven, lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He'll dump this one off. Complete, Simpson brings him down. About a seven yard pickup that time on the pass. Second and three coming up. Ball on their own 33. Nickel defense. with the throw and they couldn't hook up on that one and he overthrew his wide receiver I don't know too many seven foot guys play football so maybe he should aim lower the next time it's third down and three to go ball on the 33 yard line the defense lines up with six DB on the ground with the tailback makes a move 
Keith with a takedown. He might have grabbed his face mask there. Here's the call from the referee. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five-yard penalty, first down. He got caught grabbing at the face mask. Five-yard penalty. Yeah, but he did the right thing, and he let it go right away. First and ten. Ball in the 47. They line up in the shotgun. And the snap goes to the back. Tackle. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. In second down and 10 to go. Ball in their own 47. South Carolina comes to the line with three wide. Steps up in the pocket. Got it to the senior. And the pass is caught, but he goes nowhere. Yeah, nice job there by the defense to get to him and make the sure tackle before he can make any moves to break loose. So another third down upcoming for the offense. South Carolina lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. Looks. He steps up. Wants to throw a screen. Has it to the senior. So they go to the screen, and it's going to lose them a couple. It looks like they were confused by the zone defense out there. They didn't know who to block. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 39 boots it way up there. Shipley calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 12. The offense comes out on the field once again. And it'll be interesting to see if this defense has made any adjustments to stop this running game. Because they sure couldn't stop them from going down the field and scoring on that last drive. He drops back, steps up, short toss. The ball is tipped. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. Second and 10, ball on their own 12. Clemson comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Nice play fake, he's going right. He's knocked out of bounds. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw him practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in the game like they did all week in practice. Good job. Clemson lines up in a goal line set. And he's tackled. They attempted to pick up the first by running it, and they failed. And the defensive line won that battle easily. After a quarter of play, our score is Clemson 7, South Carolina nothing. The Tigers are lining up to punt it away. Swanson punts it, and it's a good one. Rucker takes it at the 23. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 30. The Gamecocks set up in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Rolling out to the right side. Feeling the pressure. And it's going the other way. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. You got that one right. Any time a young kid sees one of those big guys looking to knock his head off, his brain is telling him one thing. Just throw it. Well, he did, Lee. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. He's going left. And got it complete. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. 
second and one coming up here. Ball right around midfield. The Tigers come out in a shotgun. He jukes, and they make the stop. First down, pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number five is in the zone and looking to make a play. And down he goes. Nice seven-yard gain on the quarterback draw. The second down and three to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Up the middle. He juked him out of his shoes. So he got a few yards on that carry. You know what, guys? If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. First and 10. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tigers set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. He steps up. Look at it. Throws. And that one's fallen incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Clemson in a four-wide set, tries to juke. Tackle. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Tigers with four receivers on the ground with the tailback. He might have a chance. Touchdown, Clemson! Kirk, that was his second touchdown of the day. What else can we expect from him? Well, I'd bet on at least a couple more touchdowns for starters. He looks like he's really come to play here in the first half. And he hits the PAT. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Clemson is ready to kick it away. He gets a booming kick. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. Now, let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. They'll start this drive at the 25-yard line. Number seven is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. He throws it. Someone got a hand on it. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, I mean, that ball should have been picked off there. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. Four wide. He drops back. Steps up, wants to throw outside, and it falls incomplete, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys played football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Third down and 10 coming up, ball on the 25-yard line. Nickel defense. Steps up in the pocket, and he's going to come up with a sack. Clemson takes a timeout. Number 39, back 
the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Chipley fields it at the 30. Spin move. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 41. They'll throw on first down. He'll dump this one off. Got it to the senior. And he's tackled. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Second and one coming up here. Ball right around midfield. Clemson goes with the ace set here. Looks across the middle. Finds his receiver. Missed tackle. And down he goes. Clemson calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 27. Three wideouts here. They'll throw on first down. It falls incomplete. He had his wideout, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He'll dump this one off. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Collins, the intended receiver on the play. Third and 10. Ball on the 27. Ball on the 27-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back, steps up, he's looking. He rolls out to the right. He can scoop, he keeps it. A big gain on that quarterback scramble. Boy, defensive breakdown here, good defense. They had everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with a lot of running room. The key word is, but. Good defense, but. You gotta keep your eye on that kid. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. Number five lines up in the shotgun. He's in trouble. William comes away with a sack. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Swanson lines up for the field goal. He gets it up. And he got it. Fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Clemson to kick this one off. Rucker and Brown back deep to return. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure, and he's hit hard. They brought the corner, and he got the sack, fellas. Yeah, great call in this situation. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 18. They come out of the nickel. As they head to the locker room, it's been a one-sided affair. The score, Clemson, 17, South Carolina, nothing.
Clemson will be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it deep. And this one's going to come back to the 20. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 25. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's going left. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Second and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. The Tigers bring in their dive package. Looks, he unloads it. Someone got a hand on it. That close to being intercepted. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. Yeah, I thought the defender had it, but he couldn't get the pick. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 25. South Carolina comes out with five receivers. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's under pressure. And he's going to be sacked. How about the athletic move by that kid? Unbelievable for his size. Boy, is he an amazing athlete. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive line. They line up to punt this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 30. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Shipley gets the carry. And he's drilled. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He just went right through him. Man, who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Number five is back in the gun. Tackle. That's now 100 yards rushing on the day. Brad, that's just hard-nosed running, and it gives them another solid day at the ballpark. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 33. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. Little shake and bake move. And now he's going to run. And he's tackled in the open field. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Tigers set up in the gun. And snap. He steps up, lets it go, and it's caught. He tries to spin, and he's taken down. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brad. I don't know what the quarterback saw, but hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 44. Nickel defense. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Someone got a hand on it. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. Yeah, I thought the defender had it, but he couldn't get the pick. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Juku, he can scoop. Smith brings him down. First and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. 
They come out in a nickel. A little juke. And he's tackled. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 31-yard line. Number five lines up in the shotgun. High snap as he works with the gun. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The quarterback draw not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all on that play. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Number five, back in the gun, drops back to pass, down the middle, and it's the senior. And they make the stop. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up. And he hooked it left. Set up shot at the 29 yard line. South Carolina lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. Steps up. He's going left. It's deflected. And the safety got a hand on it that time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball of the 29. From the gun. He drops back. Aaron and out long. And that one's fallen incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third and 10. Ball of the 29 yard line. The game cut. Have five receivers on this play. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He lets it go with the spin. And he's stopped behind the line. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 39 punts it, and it's a good one. Shipley fields it at the 22. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. They'll start this drive at the 26. Take over at the 26 yard line. First and 10. Shipley lines up as a single back. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Let's it fly. Complete. And he's going to lose yards on this one. That's a two yard loss. Loss of two on the play. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on their own 24. Number five with four wide receivers. He drops back. He's rolling right. Throws it to the outside. Got it. They'll bring him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. The defense needs to be mistake-free. This quarterback is very capable of making them pay right now. Big yardage on that one. I'll tell you what, Brad. 
They need to keep giving this kid the football. He's on a roll. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31. Number five is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Takedown. Second and two coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. It's third down and two to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. guys the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there and we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most number five has four receivers lined up here Another hard-fought game between these two rivals. Was this what you expected to see? When it comes to rivalry games, anything can happen. That's what makes it so great and adds to the history. It was no different here today. Big win for these guys. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2006. We hope you all join us again. Again, our final score, Clemson 17, South Carolina nothing. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing...